Okay, so if you guys haven't seen my last video about the Skepter 20 Scepter Skepter 24 inch monitor, uh, then uh, I really recommend on you guys watching that video before you watch this one, because I said a couple things in there that aren't really important. So go and watch that one. But as I said in that video, I still need another monitor to replace the Skepter monitor that I am returning because it's not as good as a monitor than we thought it was going to be. So. I went out and uh, found a good deal or good-ish deal on a better monitor that is IPS 1080p 24 inches and uh, a monitor that I can trust so I went ahead and bought I went ahead and bought the tw Acer K3 series 24 inch monitor um, I'll tell you guys the specs in a minute so let's get right into the video Okay, as I said, today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing this monitor. This monitor is the 24 inch Acer K3 series or as known as the K243Y. This is a full HD uh, panel. It has FreeSync or AMD FreeSync. It's full HD as I said. It's an IPS monitor, so which is good. It has a VRB or whatever that is. It has one millisecond response time. It has blue light shift, I think it is, or blue light shield and uh flicker it's flicker free okay so let's take a look at the box as you guys can see here here is the name of this monitor it's the 24k24 uh 3y full hd as i as i said this is an acer brand or this is the acer brand um it is different than all the brands i have behind me uh this is the k3 series it has has full hd amd FreeSync, ips vrb one millisecond blue light shield and flicker free as you guys can see here on the front it shows the monitor it's definitely like a workstation monitor it's nothing special it's nothing like a gaming monitor 144 hertz it's just a regular workstation monitor that was a hundred dollars so anything on the sides here nothing much just everything that says the same back is the same as the front and on this side nothing much other than your printing's label okay so here's the monitor uh, as I said I am going to be replacing that uh, scepter monitor uh, and replacing it with this monitor so I can have him have a uh, better, better monitor than that monitor because this one is not is better than that one at this point because this one is a IPS panel instead of a uh, not a TN, a VA panel. So um, this will be better for him because it'll be more vibrant, or hopefully, at least what I've seen on reviews, it's more vibrant and it's definitely brighter than in a VA or a TN panel. Okay, so as we open this box, um, we have to take out this actual panel from this piece right here. So let's do that and take this out. Okay, so here's the monitor. The first thing you'll grab is the power cable. This is just a regular uh, power cable with the three prong, three prong, and then there's another three prong on the other side. So it's just a regular power cable. Next thing you'll be getting is a HDMI cable, so you can connect it to your PC or laptop. Next, you'll be getting your manual and safety information. Right after that, you'll be getting the neck piece for your monitor, so you can. Uh, do whatever adjustments you need off of this piece and last but not least uh, you'll be getting the monitor stand or the legs for the monitor okay so right now um, let's take this off and let's show you guys the monitor it's definitely not a I don't think it's a flat screen monitor but it is uh, definitely not a uh, curved monitor so as I flip this over I should be able to take it off this piece Already, you guys can see right here. It is a little bit bulkier than my than a regular 24-inch uh, monitor, like the Scepter monitor. It has it is thinner on the Scepter monitor, but this one has better picture quality, so this one would be way better than his right now. And next, you are greeted by the monitor with no seams of any plastic on its face. Actually, there might be plastic. On. No, there's not. So, um. Let's start with the back. Okay, so on the back here, you have your Acer logo. Acer, obviously. You have your VESA mount for mounting this to a 
desk or a vase mount or on the wall. Uh, all your I.O. is on the bottom, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. Uh, there's nothing else on the back other than your uh, buttons to control your panel over here. All your buttons to control the panel, and then I think this is a joystick to control it too. That should, that's it on the back. Okay, so right here you have your HDMI and VGA connections, HDMI, VGA. You have, that's it on that side. Uh, you have your stand clip here, nothing there, nothing special. And then obviously a spot for your power. Right here you have your uh, model number and stuff like that. And uh, that's really it for this side. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, put this thing together so you guys can see it with the stand and it running. So I will do that right now. So one thing that I noticed right off the bat with the, the difference between two of these is the stands and the build quali quality between each of them. This is just some regular old plastic, nothing fancy, just some regular old plastic. This one is actually nice, I think molded or whatever, some kind of plastic. It's definitely better. Uh, another thing I noticed is that the bezel design is different. This one is a full bezel, so you can definitely see the bezels, like so. And then this one has that invisible bez bezel that's like behind in, in the actual monitor. Uh, so this, these both, both of these monitors are 60 hertz uh, on its own, or uh, just out of the box. It's 60 hertz. I think this one over, this one overclocks at 75. I don't know about this one. I think this is a 75 hertz. Um, obviously, the sands are different. The monitors are different. But on this. Uh, on the Acer, you can tilt way more than this Scepter, Scepter, Scepter one, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so as both of these monitors eh, say, they are both 24 inches in uh, screen's real estate size. And obviously, this one has a thinner design as it is, na as as it is named. Uh, on its name or on the box, it is thinner throughout, and then it comes be comes bigger when you have all your controllers and stuff like that. Right here, you have your uh, Acer. It's definitely thicker, but it really doesn't matter because you're never gonna see the back. Which this one is harder, is more flimsy than this one because it is thicker here and is thinner here. So this one will flex on you. If you guys do get this one, you can see it already flexing. And on this one, it won't really flex at all. Another thing that is different is the glare. So as you guys can see, you can almost clearly see this picture right there. Over here, it is blurrier. It's definitely not just because this thing is darker, because you can obviously see it is pretty, uh, pretty good on the contrast side, but it is blurrier, so there's not gonna be much um, glare to this screen this IPS monitor at all so let's go ahead and set both of these monitors up and I can show you guys the difference between each of them okay now I got both monitors set up on my left side I have my Skepter Skept, Sept, I don't know the name of this Skepter monitor whatever it is um, and um, it as I said this the one on the left is the T is a uh, VA panel and here is the IPS panel. Uh, it is definitely different, if you guys can see. Uh, blacks are more dark. The color is more vibrant uh, compared to both of these. It is brighter on the IPS mon monitor, as you guys can see. Look at the different contrasts. But one thing I didn't, uh, one thing I don't like about these monitors is that the monitor stands are so low because um, as you guys can see I have a mic here when looking at my monitor you can see my mic on the bottom corner so I have to put this lower so um, 
nothing really else to complain about other than um, so something I didn't know about this the uh, new monitor that I got for my grandfather is that it's 75 Hertz native so that's a 75 Hertz display this one's a 60 Hertz display native 75 60 75 so the 75 Hertz will help um, for people like me who like to play games and stuff like that, but it won't matter to him. Just letting you guys know, it's a hundred dollars for this one. It's a hundred and five dollars for this one. Hundred five dollars for a sixty hertz monitor, and a hundred bucks for a seventy five hertz monitor. That's IPS. Okay, so right now I'm going to go into some real world uh, applications, such as uh, maybe editing a video. Uh, but I am going to be playing some video games which he's not going to be doing. He's going to be like browsing the web, doing some stocks, but uh, whatever. I'm just going to play some games and see how how different it is. Um, and just tell you guys some more things about this monitor. Okay, so on the left I have the, Sep the Scepter or Scepter, whatever you want to call it, monitor. Uh, as you can see, they're both 24 inches and then the in front of me that I'm gaming on uh, is the Acer 24 inch whatever monitor but uh, I am liking that it's native 75 Hertz um, it's really good when I'm playing my games because of obvious reasons 75 Hertz is so much better when you're playing at 200 FPS it's definitely better to have 144 Hertz but 75 Hertz is good if you're just starting off it's better if you're just starting off in gaming or playing some games just for fun not like me where I'm playing comp a lot but uh, besides the point uh, I am playing Valorant uh, so if you guys do want some more gameplay on that leave a like on this video and comment down below if you want some more of this gameplay but anyways uh, 75 Hertz refresh rate it's an IPS monitor as I said IPS is go is key when uh, when want getting a monitor, I would not get another VA or an, uh, even a TN. TNs are really, really bad. So, I would either get a IPS if you can find a good one. And if a uh, TN, or not TN, a uh, VA if you can find a good one for a cheaper price. But, I'm really liking this IPS monitor at this point. It's definitely not bad for its price it's a hundred dollars for a 24 inch ips monitor which is better than a a lot of other monitors that i've seen out there but uh, i would recommend i would recommend this monitor if you guys are just starting off to play games or if you need something for parents or grandparents or whoever you need a monitor for but all i would say is definitely do not get that a panel that's va VA is not that good if you are having if you have eyesight problems but uh, 100 bucks I would definitely recommend this one or that LG one that I've got have unboxed in the in one of my other videos so I'll put two links down in the description for this monitor and that other IPS monitor the LG 24 BK 430 or whatever it is and I'll put two links down there and uh, I'll leave the rest off to a gameplay so you guys can watch a little bit more. As I said, leave a like in the in the description below if you if you want some more gameplay. So I'll see you guys at the end of the video.
Okay, so if you guys like this monitor, the Asus 24 inch whatever, or the Asus Acer monitor, then I will leave a link in the description for you guys to go and buy it. Uh, I hope this video was helpful, and um, I do not recommend this other monitor, the, the Skepter, whatever, 24 inch, big something. <laughs> I don't recommend that monitor, it is not IPS for $101. I, you can, as you can see, you can buy an a Acer, uh, Acer, an Acer IPS monitor for with that 75 hertz native for $99. So I know it's not a difference, but it does save you money in the long run. And when building computers, you always want to good you know, get a find a good deal. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below what's your favorite monitor out of the, all of the ones that I have um, reviewed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.